Let's get right into it. Number 14. The Water Memory Glitch Imagine standing at your kitchen sink and realizing the water you're about to drink has a mood. For the longest time, we assumed water was just a simple H2O molecule, boring, predictable, and great for hydration. However, new studies into the molecular structure of water suggest it can actually retain memory of the substances it once touched through complex hydrogen bonding networks. It's like the liquid version of a digital hard drive. This means the glass of water on your nightstand might still be vibing from a chemical encounter it had three cities ago. Essentially, the fundamental building block of life is way more woo-woo than your high school chemistry teacher ever dared to admit. Number 13. The Lung Butt Loophole Some people think the peak of medical science is a fancy pill or a laser, but in 2025, we officially proved that mammals can breathe through their butts. It's called enteral ventilation. Researchers found that if you're struggling for oxygen, a specific liquid called perfluorodecalin delivered, well, backwards, can actually keep you alive. It turns out your intestines are basically a backup pair of lungs that nobody bothered to read the manual for. So, the next time you're gasping for air, just remember, your body has a plan B that is as medically effective as it is socially devastating. Number 12. The Heart's Secret Brain Most people think of the heart as a glorified, fleshy sump pump that just pushes blood around whenever you see a scary movie or run for the bus but researchers have identified about 40,000 neurons living right there in your chest, known as the little brain in the heart. These neurons can sense, feel, and remember things independently of the gray matter in your skull. It turns out the heart doesn't just take orders from the brain, it argues back. When you have a gut feeling or a heartfelt reaction, it's not just poetry, it's your secondary processor sending a memo to the main office. Your chest is basically running its own rogue AI program without your permission. Number 11. The Shadow Biosphere Scientists have spent decades looking for aliens in deep space, but we just realized there might be aliens living in our own dirt. There's a theory of a shadow biosphere where microorganisms exist that have a completely different biochemical makeup than any other life on Earth using arsenic instead of phosphorus, for example. We've been so busy looking for little green men on Mars that we completely ignored the fact that Earth might be hosting an entirely different version of life that doesn't even play by our rules. Number 10. The Bone Radio You probably think your skeleton is just a silent scaffolding system designed to carry your meat around, but it's actually a broadcasting station. Scientists discovered that your bones produce a hormone called osteocalcin, which acts as a chemical messenger to tell your brain to stop being stressed, or to help you remember where you left your keys. If your bones aren't talking, your brain starts to glitch. Essentially, your skeleton isn't just a cage for your organs. It's a chatty roommate that's secretly managing your mental health while you're busy worrying about what you posted on Instagram. Number 9. The Sleep Cleaning Car Wash Every night when you drift off, your brain doesn't just turn off, it literally opens the floodgates. The glymphatic system is a recently discovered waste clearance pathway that pumps cerebrospinal fluid through your brain tissue to wash away molecular trash like beta amyloid. It's a literal power wash for your thoughts. Without this nightly rinse, your brain becomes a hoarding situation for toxic proteins. You aren't just resting when you sleep, you're deep cleaning the motherboard so it doesn't overheat and melt the next morning. Number 8. The Hybrid Human For a long time, we thought Homo sapiens were the winners of evolution, who just outcompeted the Neanderthals until they disappeared. But DNA sequencing just proved we didn't beat them, we merged with them. Most people carry about 2% Neanderthal DNA, which influences everything from your immune system to your hair texture and how you handle altitude. You aren't a pure species. You're a walking, talking evolutionary smoothie. You're basically a reboot of an older model that still has some of the original bugs in the software. Number 7. The Fossilized Soft Tissue The scientific consensus used to be rock solid. If you die and turn into a fossil, your soft bits, veins, cells, and skin are gone in a few thousand years, leaving only the hard stones behind. Then, some cheeky researchers cracked open a Tyrannosaurus rex bone and found actual, flexible blood vessels and intact proteins. This shouldn't be possible. It's the biological equivalent of finding a fresh ham sandwich inside a sealed tomb from ancient Egypt. It broke our understanding of how long organic molecules can survive, 
proving that the fossil record isn't just a bunch of rocks. It's a giant, prehistoric biological freezer that we forgot to plug in. Number 6. The Infinite Human Cloud We used to think the human memory had a cap, like a cheap thumb drive you bought at a gas station. But new neurological modeling suggests the human brain's storage capacity is closer to a petabyte that's enough to hold the entire internet. The reason you can't remember what you had for lunch yesterday isn't a space issue, it's a filing issue. Your brain is a supercomputer with the world's worst organizational system, meaning you have the hardware of a god and the search function of a pre-Google library catalog. Number 5. The Plant Intelligence Problem you probably think of your houseplants as decorative green blobs that exist solely to die the moment you go on vacation, but science just pulled the rug out from under that smug sense of superiority. Researchers have discovered that plants don't just react, they remember, they learn, and they even scream. When a tomato plant gets thirsty or has a stem cut, it emits ultrasonic clicks that sound like tiny bubble wrap popping. Since they don't have ears, they use their entire bodies to sense vibrations, essentially turning every leaf into a microphone. We used to think intelligence required a brain, but it turns out you've been living in a house full of silent, judgmental witnesses that are technically talking behind your back. Number 4. The Gravity-Defying Tree You'd think we'd have the how-do-trees-work thing figured out by now, but for a long time, the math just didn't add up. To get water from the dirt to the top of a 90 meters redwood, you'd need a pump system more powerful than anything nature should be able to build. Standard physics says you can't suck water up a straw higher than about 10 meters before gravity wins. But trees do it anyway by putting water under negative pressure, essentially stretching the liquid into a high-tension rope that pulls itself upward. It's a physical impossibility that happens in your backyard every day. The trees are literally breaking the laws of suction because they simply don't have time for your physics. Number 3. The Body's Hidden Organ for centuries, we thought we had mapped every inch of the human body. But in 2018, we stumbled upon a massive, body-wide organ called the interstitium that we'd somehow missed the entire time. It's a network of fluid-filled cavities found everywhere under your skin, lining your lungs, and wrapping around your muscles. We didn't see it because our old way of looking at tissue involved draining the fluid, which caused the whole structure to collapse like a popped balloon. It's essentially a shock absorber system that connects everything, meaning your body isn't a collection of separate parts, it's one giant, soggy sponge. We've been studying the map of the human body for 2,000 years and just realized we missed a whole continent. Number 2. The Solar-Powered Skin It turns out humans might have more in common with a succulent than we care to admit. While we don't do full-on photosynthesis, we recently found that our bodies have light-sensitive receptors in places that never see the sun, like our blood vessels. Some researchers suggest we can actually harvest a small amount of energy directly from sunlight to help regulate our metabolism. You aren't just getting a tan, you're technically plugging yourself into the giant fusion reactor in the sky to top off your batteries. Number 1. The Accidental Compass You might think you need a GPS to find the nearest Taco Bell, but your eyes actually contain a protein called cryptochrome, that is sensitive to the Earth's magnetic field. Birds use it to migrate, but humans have the exact same hardware tucked away in our retinas. We've spent thousands of years getting lost on road trips while our eyeballs were quietly screaming, South is that way, you idiot! We have a built-in magnetic compass that we've basically ignored because we're too busy staring at TikTok. Everyday habits that were never meant for the modern world. Number 10. Artificial light. The sleep thief. Your brain runs on sunlight. Not vibes, not caffeine sunlight, but thanks to LEDs, phones, and that late-night glow from your fridge, your brain now lives in a 24-hour rave it never asked for. Blue light tells your brain, hey, it's daytime, keep the party going. So when you're doom-scrolling in bed, your melatonin, the sleepy hormone, just goes, guess we're pulling an all-nighter again. The result? You wake up tired, you drink coffee to fix it, and you stare at more screens. Rinse and repeat until your circadian rhythm files for divorce. In the ancient world, sunset meant rest. Now, it means time to check one more email and fall down a YouTube rabbit hole. Basically, your body's still syncing with the sun, but your lifestyle's synced with TikTok. Number 9. Overclean Living, The Germless Trap You've been told to fear germs like they're tiny assassins, disinfect everything, wash your hands every five minutes, use sanitizer like holy water. 
But here's the plot twist. Your immune system needs those little microbes to train. Without them, it gets bored and starts attacking random things, like pollen, peanuts, or your own skin. Your ancestors rolled in dirt, ate food with their hands, and shared water holes with animals. You freak out if someone sneezes near your latte. Over-sanitizing has created a generation of immune systems that can't tell the difference between an infection and an inconvenience. It's called the hygiene hypothesis, the idea that your immune system needs small doses of filth to grow up strong, but instead, you've created a sterile utopia, where your defenses have nothing to do but panic. Congrats, your war-ready biology is now fighting dust. Number 8. Ignoring natural rhythms the time confusion. Your body runs on a delicate internal clock that syncs with sunlight, meals, and movement. But modern life smashed that clock with caffeine, alarms, and all-nighters. You eat breakfast at noon, work under fluorescent lights, and wonder why you feel like a zombie by midweek. Your circadian rhythm was built for predictability. Sunrise meant action, sunset meant rest. Now, it's chaos. You blast yourself with screen light at midnight, sleep in on weekends, and reset your internal clock like it's a phone app. The result? Brain fog, hormonal imbalance, and a body that doesn't know what day it is. Your ancestors could sense time by looking at the sky. You need three alarms, two coffees, and a mental breakdown just to leave the house. Basically, your biology's still running nature one, but your schedule's on night shift mode. Number 7. Constant snacking the endless buffet problem. Your body still thinks food is a rare sacred event. Like, oh wow, berries, haven't seen these since last summer. Meanwhile, you just had three meals, two coffees, and a light snack that could feed a raccoon family. See, your ancient digestive system was designed for feast or famine. When you constantly snack, your insulin never gets a break, and your hunger cues get totally scrambled. Your brain stops knowing when you're actually hungry, kind of like that friend who keeps texting you up, even though you never reply. Modern convenience turned eating into entertainment, and your stomach's the one paying the price. The caveman version of you would walk 10 miles for a fruit. The modern version? You get mad if your food delivery takes longer than 8 minutes. The result? Your body's still wired for survival, but your fridge is wired for sabotage. Number 6. The constant noise loop. Silence used to mean safety. No rustling in the bushes. No predator nearby. Today, silence means panic. The moment it's quiet, you immediately grab your phone, open Spotify, or start a podcast just to avoid hearing your own thoughts. Your brain was built for natural soundscapes, wind, birds, footsteps. Now it's bombarded with traffic, notifications, and background chatter. Constant noise keeps your body slightly on edge, like a smoke alarm that won't shut up. And the scary part? You've adapted to it. Silence actually stresses people out now, because their nervous systems think something's wrong when things are calm. Basically, we've traded mental rest for endless stimulation. Our ancestors used silence to survive, you use it to realize how tired you are. Number 5. Shoes foot prisons with style. Your feet were once wild, flexible creatures gripping, balancing, sprinting across rough ground like biological parkour masters. Then along came the modern shoe, which basically told your feet, you don't need muscles, you just need cushioning, and your feet have been lazy ever since. Modern footwear reshaped your natural gait. The thick soles, arch supports, and toe prisons make your foot muscles weak and your posture confused. Your ancestors could walk barefoot over hot sand and rocks without wincing. You, meanwhile, step on one Lego and reconsider your will to live. The problem? All those fancy shoes trick your body into walking differently, shorter strides, weaker ankles, collapsed arches. Over time, your feet forget how to feel the ground, and your brain stops getting balance feedback it used to rely on. Basically, you traded primal power for fashion and foam. Stylish, yes. Evolution approved? Not so much. Number 4. Doom scrolling the brain's fake danger addiction. Your brain is a gossip-loving caveman that evolved to detect threats, not scroll them endlessly at two amperes. M. In the wild, paying attention to danger kept you alive. Now it just keeps you chronically anxious and weirdly informed about disasters happening thousands of miles away. When you scroll through bad news, your brain releases stress hormones as if the tiger's in the room, but there's no action, no resolution, just infinite worry loops. It's like your survival instincts are stuck buffering. You tell yourself it's 
staying informed, but really, you're just giving your amygdala a daily panic workout. The problem isn't curiosity, it's overstimulation. Your ancient brain wasn't built for global-scale chaos. It just wanted to know if that rustling in the bushes meant dinner or death. Now, it's trying to process 50 tragedies before breakfast. Basically, you're running survival software on a system that never sleeps. Number 3. Constant temperature the comfort trap. You live in a climate-controlled bubble. Air conditioning in the summer, heating in the winter, your body never has to work for comfort anymore. Sounds nice, right? Except your ancestors would be horrified by how fragile you've become. See, your internal thermostat, the one that helps regulate body temperature, evolved to adapt to wild swings in heat and cold. Shivering, sweating, and adjusting blood flow were all built-in survival tricks. But now, because your environment is always perfectly cozy, those systems are getting lazy. Cold exposure once triggered brown fat activity, the kind that actually burns calories to keep you warm. Now, you walk into a slightly chilly room and suddenly you're dressing like an Arctic explorer. Meanwhile, ancient humans were surviving frost with animal skins and sheer willpower. Modern comfort is great for convenience, but evolutionarily speaking, your body's lost its grit. You don't tough it out anymore, you just tweak the thermostat and call it self-care. Number 2. Stress without a predator. Your stress response is ancient. It evolved to save your life from tigers, not from unread emails. When you get anxious before a meeting, your body doesn't know it's about a PowerPoint, it thinks something with teeth is about to eat you. That's why your heart races, your breathing speeds up, and your stomach tightens. It's your nervous system screaming, run. But you can't, because you're trapped in a chair pretending to care about quarterly reports, so all that adrenaline just sits there, and you wonder why you feel exhausted doing nothing. Your body's ancient survival mode is trying to save you from predators that no longer exist. Meanwhile, your brain's like, oh no, someone left me on red. The mismatch is absurd, your biology's on fire, but the threat is an email. Welcome to modern life. Danger has gone digital. Number 1. Sitting the slow motion curse. Your ancestors didn't have chairs. They had rocks, tree stumps, and the occasional, I guess I'll squat here. You, on the other hand, probably spend 10 hours a day folding your spine into a chair like a human pretzel. And your body absolutely hates it. See? Your joints, muscles, and circulation were built for constant motion walking, climbing, carrying, chasing. But now, instead of chasing mammoths, you're chasing Wi-Fi. When you sit all day, your hips tighten, your glutes fall asleep, and your blood starts moving slower than a dial-up connection. Over time, this resting position tricks your body into thinking the world has no predators. That's great for Netflix binges, but terrible for your metabolism. In evolutionary terms, your body is screaming, why are we sitting when we could be fleeing something, but you just pat it on the leg and tell it to chill while you scroll through memes? Ironically, sitting all day can actually make standing feel harder because your core and posture muscles start to forget their job. Basically, you've domesticated yourself. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.